Hi, hello and welcome to everyone. Today we are going to see the stress analysis of a rectangular L bracket. Okay, here there is a L bracket rectangular L bracket two rectangular plates which is joined with the L shape and there's a two holes one is in the horizontal rectangular plate and another one is in the vertical rectangular plate. The width of the horizontal rectangular plate is 150 mm and the height of the rectangular plate is 50 mm. Here, the width of the rectangular plate for the vertical plate is 50 mm and the height of the rectangular plate is 100 mm. There, is, uh, there are two holes with 25 mm dia and there, there's a radius with 10 mm. And the load which is acting on the rectangular plate is 10 kN. And the Young's modulus is 200 gigapascal and 0.3 Poisson's ratio. Okay, now we are going to do it in the ANSYS software. And uh, as usual, first we are going to pick the preferences, structural, H method, OK. Then preprocessor, element type, add, delete, add, solid element, quad 4 node 182. Then give OK. Then options, plane stress with thickness. Then OK. Then close and real constant, add it, delete, add plane 182 and OK. And the thickness is 10 mm. Then give OK. Then close the then material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isentropic. OK, here we are going to give the Young's modulus value and Poisson's ratio value. Here we are going to give the Young's modulus value and Poisson's ratio value 2 e power. 5 and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3. Okay, then close, then modeling, create, and uh, create here areas rectangle by two corners. For the first section, for the first section, here starting from this point, this left side, so for the left side point, give x is equal to 0 and give x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Okay. Then what is the width of the first horizontal rectangular plate is 150 mm and height is 50 mm. So give width is 150 mm and height is 50 mm. Okay. Then give apply. Okay. This is the first rectangular element that we created. Then the second rectangular plate. Here, the second rectangular plate starts from this point, which means the total length is 150 mm. From this second point starts from 150 minus 50. So, which, which means starting from the 100, 100 mark. So, x value 150 minus 50. Y value is 0. And width is width is 50 mm, height is 100 mm. So width is 50 mm and height is 100 mm. But here the height is in the downwards direction. So for downwards direction, we give minus 100. So give okay. Okay, here the uh, two rectangular plates are created. So these two rectangular plates are on separate section. So we have to add the separate section. So operate boolean add areas select the first rectangular element and second rectangular element give OK. So now the two elements are getting added. Now again going back to the create. Now we need to create this uh, arc or circular hole which is connected with this two ends which is in the horizontal rectangular plate and in the vertical rectangular plate. So areas, circle, solid circle. Okay, here in the first point, the circle is at the left side. So the x value is zero. So the x value is zero. And what about the y value? The center of the circle is 50 divided by two. Center of the circle is 50 divided by 2. Now, what about the radius? Radius is 50 mm, which means 
50 dia so 50 divided by 2 so 50 divided by 2 so which means the value is 25 give apply here the circle is created by the same way we have to create on the vertical rectangular plate so for the vertical rectangular plate the value starts at the x value starts at 100 plus 50 divided by 2 which means at the 125 value so x is equal to 100 plus uh, 50 divided by 2 means 125 so 25 okay what about the y value y value it is in the bottom of the rectangle plate so 100 is the value but it is in the downward direction so we are giving here is minus 100 what about the radius the radius is the 50 mm dia so we, we have to give 25 50 divided by 2 which means 25 and give okay so two circles are, uh, circles are created now we are going to add these elements how we are going to add as usual the previous work operate booleans add areas first circle then element then second circle give okay so three elements are added okay now we should give the hole we should create the holes at the horizontal rectangle plate and vertical rectangle plate. so area solid circle now again we are giving x value is 0 what about the y value 25 so 50 divided by 25 so x value is 0 y value is 25 and what about the radius radius here is 25 mm radius so we, we, we should give 50 25 divided by 2 25 divided by 2 which means 12.5 mm give apply so first circle is created likewise we should give create the second circle in the second circle x value is 100 plus 25 which means 125 likewise the y value is 100 it is in the downward direction so we are giving minus 100 what about the radius value 25 divided by 25 divided by 2, which means 12.5 so two circles are created now we should create a hole on these two circles so we should remove this element so operate boolean subtract area so click the first rectangle plate then give ok then to select the two circles give ok so the hole is created so the hole is created ok now we should create this fillet now we should create this fillet so for creating the fillet we should go for the create lines line fillet pick the two sides which which the fillet is create uh, to be created so give okay so asking the fillet radius what about the fillet radius here 10 mm so fillet radius is 10 mm so giving 10. Oh, then give okay so here the fillet is created now we should create a, it as a create a fillet as a element so how we are going to create so areas arbitrary through key points so you click the center of the uh, fillet then the, left, the downwards vertical direction fillet then horizontal direction fillet then give ok now the element is created as a separate fillet element separate fillet element so we have to add the separate fillet element so operate boolean add areas click the separate fillet element add the uh, and the rectangular L bracket element so give ok now the both elements are added okay now after the element created what we are going to do is meshing in meshing first we are going to get the size controls then manual size areas pick all the areas for the element length for meshing element as length for meshing we are giving 3 mm or we are giving 2 mm okay 2 mm then mesh tool smart size mesh pick the element then give ok all right the 2 mm element is created meshing is created now after the meshing is created we are going for the 
loads apply the loads so define loads setting uh, sorry uh, apply structural displacement on lines so we, we should fix this two sides of the element so pick okay all degrees of freedom we have to fix the two sides so give the element is fixed now the two sides of the L bracket is fixed now after the fix we, we should give the pressure on lines pick the circular hole base elements base sides and give it us okay then what about the value 10 kilo newton i think is 10 kilo newton. yeah yeah yes 10 kilo total load is acting here is 10 kilo newton so 10 kilo newton means 10,000 newton 10,000 newton and give okay now the load is created the pressure is created okay then after the pressure created we should go for the solution solve and current ls give okay here the solution is done so the process is correct then we should go for the output results general post processor plot results deform shape deformed plus undeformed this is the deformed plus undeformed which means the load has been created uh, due to the load has been created what about the deflections are there and now we are going for the control plot nodal solution uh, de uh, degrees of freedom solution then displacement with dust up. what about the value yes this is the value this is the variation in the usual without load element and the after the applying of the load the red mark area is the highest peak which means here the 5.33642 is the output now we should get the stress uh, the main objective is stress so stress and find out the value for the warm ice stress give okay what about the highest peak value which means the red mark created is highest peak value 46362.1 is the output 46362.1 is the total stress created in this L rectangle L shape okay and for the output we have to take the, this uh, image capture for this uh, element is nothing but style size and shape and the display of element should be on then give okay then this is the output the 10 mm edge with, with this created with the l shape bracket and we have to capture the image capture here is capture the image and then give file save us we have to save save the output as l bracket now we have to see the animation of this l bracket so here plot controls animate deform results for the value of y direction stress y direction stress how the stress has been created this is the output that stress has been created after the load applying in the element load applying in the element so this is the final output of for the stress analysis of the rectangular shape element thank you